What's up guys? Y'all know what day it is. It's Saturday. It means it's time to get on this big old Matco truck. You guys, come on. I can't believe y'all still got that box. I had two people wanting to trade for it today, or yesterday. Man, as good looking as that box is, that thing should have sold the first week y'all had it on here. It should have. If people would have good credit, they would. Well, this is gonna mess everybody up today. It is. <laughs> Everybody's used to Michael talking and you in the background. It's reversed today. He had a root canal though, so he's not really wanting to talk. Yeah. That makes sense. I like the hatch you got on. I know it's a cool hat on it. <laughs> My Matco dealer had that on the truck. Yes. Well, what new y'all got? I don't know what he hadn't shown. I <laughs> 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 gotta be something because y'all always got the new stuff. Yeah, that's the um, that's the Bluetooth yeah. speaker and the, the light. That's the one I was listening to a while ago. If you look back there, it's hanging up on one of those pipe wrenches. <laughs> So it's magnetic and it's got different settings on it. Yeah, 500 lumens. Mm -hmm. It's back here. Hang yeah. <laughs> there y'all see it'll hold up going down the road at least. It does. That's a good test of a magnet if it can <laughs> hang on there while it's, it's going. bouncing down the road. And look, it wasn't even tight. So you know that nope. thing had some wiggle in it. It does. Make some sound. I guess we'll show it. Might as well. I sold one uh, in Iuka, and he didn't even know it had Bluetooth on it. So if you hold the button down too long, well, I said that, but it'll say Bluetooth ready. Oh, and he didn't even know it had a speaker on it, huh? Mm -mm. But, oh, I've already connected my phone this once. <laughs> but anyways, so you hold it down, you do your button here, and then two presses get you this one. That one, well, I don't want to blind your camera. You're fine. And then two presses. I get you here. Yeah. Three presses. I say that and I can't do it. But anyways, so has your dial. It's actually digital now instead oh, okay. of being the regular one. And the uh, anyways, you got a red light. If you press it better than I do, because that's I pretty cool. And then four blinks. My son played with it this morning, so that's why. <laughs> well, that's pretty sharp right there. Other than that, I don't know. <laughs> well, everybody's on another part number. So let me oh, get yeah. that. Oh, yeah, so there it is. There you go, see it. And like you know, every distributor is going to have, their prices is going to vary per yep. truck, depending on what sale they got it on. Well, what we could start doing on here, y'all could just tell the price and add about $30 to everything. <laughs> And that way they think their dealer's giving them a really good deal on it. You know, believe it or not, that's actually happened. <laughs> like, with our stubby uh, impact sets, you know, y'all got a really good deal on yours. And some people have messaged asking if they got a good deal on theirs. And, I mean, I can't really, I mean, oh, well. I say you do, but you never know. I was pleased with it. Yeah. If I didn't think it was yours? a good deal, I wouldn't have bought it. You use it? Mm, I've been actually. I used the green one this week on that job that we had in there, mm -hmm. and that'll be the last job that the green one does before the orange one takes over. Goes in the box. Yep. Oh, well. The green one will go on the service truck. So. So do you do a lot of service calls and stuff? Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, actually, I like them because you can make some good money with them. <laughs> there, y'all say Michael right there, didn't you? It's just for <laughs> one brief second. He's back here. <laughs> he just don't feel good. See, that still confuses everybody because they're like, well, I can say that one flag behind that other flag. I'm yeah, like, well, we do it's that. a door. So, this one is faced right this way, and then when we're driving down the mm -hmm. road, the other one's faced right that way. You know, believe it or not, it helps like whenever the noise back here, it actually yeah. noise canceling. So, there you go, triple duty for the flags. <laughs> I guess. Well, have y'all got anything else new? 
I know y'all always get the newest. We try, stuff but I mean, of everybody. I don't know. Somebody was asking about Michael's sunglasses <coughs> last week. Those people Which wanting ones? the ones, the ones he's got on his head right now. Yeah, there's a couple of people actually asking about them. These, they're dirty, but these. Yeah. I don't know if we still sell those or not. I know uh -oh. whenever we sold them, we sold so many that they actually back order. So I don't know if it was they were on a video one time or they're what it cool. was, but that's the little bitty part number. <laughs> Oh, Lord. You add ED to it. I don't know if we'll be able to get that on here or not. <laughs> if not, it's fine. We'll see if we right can figure it out it somewhere. Like pause the video and get it. <laughs> but we did that, and Michael also said we have this coming out. You'll hold it up. So it's like a stubby. Really? It's 16 volt. Yeah, so if you'll remember the other one that, that was out. They're actually discontinuing it, and they're coming out with these here. These should be coming out in May. I expect them to back order pretty quick, just because of all the attention that they've already got, and we ain't even got them out yet. So well, that's pretty sharp right there. Mm -hmm. So that's something that we're looking to get in as well. 300 foot pounds. Yeah. That's pretty good. She's heard me cuss quite a few times dropping bolts, yes. extensions, and. It, it never seems to fall out on the ground at home. I don't know. Yeah. And if it does, it waits till I'm in the yard and not in the carport. <laughs> so it'll fall. What out. I hate is when you're working on something and you hear it drop mm -hmm. and it don't hit the ground. I'm like, oh man, that's when the real trouble starts right there. Yeah, that's that's always fun. When you were doing the timing on that one, that Ford, Houston took that. He took a. Michael had a bolt sitting on the battery. Well, I let Houston up there sitting on the tire. He grabbed it. Well, then when Michael had everything put back together, that was the head, wasn't it? No, that was a, it was a bolt that held the AC line. There, yeah. And I got everything back together and Couldn't was trying it. to get the AC line put back together. I was like, what the crap, where's it at? I think even more than that, we I was doing timing on a Ford uh, and this was like a, what is Deborah Drive? What was that? I don't know if it's an Equinox or No, a, that's not a Ford. That's no, a it's, no, it looks like one though. Either way, it was a Ford. I was doing timing on it and I dropped a bolt and I spent four hours looking for this bolt. It's like one or two in the morning at this point. Still can't find it. All because I didn't have a magnetic uh, socket. Couldn't mm -hmm. find it. Couldn't find it. And I just stopped. I went in went. It was dark, so I went in, went to bed, got up the next morning, went out there, looked, looked, couldn't find it, started putting stuff back together. But I was not going to put it completely back together. We are going to put the cover on or yep, anything until I found it. it. Yep. Sure enough, we found it. It had dropped down into the head and went down Ooh, in one of the, uh, wow. where the head bolts go. It had dropped down into there. And man, we'd, we'd used a magnet. I don't, I can't tell you how long trying to find it. She looked for it. I looked for it. Mm -hmm. We could not find it. Finally, we went to bed, got up the next morning, and there it was inside one of those things. I was, Man. That could have been bad. Well, do y'all have any of the magnetic inserts on here? We usually keep one or two packs, and since we've talked about them, I don't, I, everybody just seems, every time I get one in, they, what is this? And once yeah. you tell them, they're like, I'll take them. Yeah. That may be another option for Kevin there, because well, I told him, I said, now, you can buy them plastic ones, but when you put them in, Make sure to put them in a regular socket because if you put them in those universal impacts, you can't get them back out because you can't go through the back side. Well, like they're in there. See, and that's the thing. As great as magnetic sockets are, sometimes you don't, I know it's going to sound stupid, but sometimes you don't want it magnetic. Mm -hmm. Like I know that sounds retarded, but sometimes it's just not what you want. Especially if you ain't got a locking extension because if you ain't got a locking extension. Oh, yeah, it's going to pull it off every time. And then you just good luck getting your socket. You know? Mm hmm. Um, I've got to the point to where when I do spark plugs now, I do not want it to not be a locking extension. Because nothing makes me matter than dropping to, it. Well, trying to get the stupid socket off the mm -hmm. spark plug once I'm done. Because it's staying, that rubber inside yep. there is staying on and my extension is wore out. So I'm sitting there. You ain't got, on. look, you ain't getting no pity from me talking about wore out tools. Like, right. none. I'm you ain't saying. getting zero. I'm just saying. You have no excuse. I know, I'm not trying to. Because you could just, trade your stuff in to your Matco no, guy for a good price and get some locking extensions. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I won't do it now without locking extensions. Uh, 
I done learned that lesson. Um, I learned that lesson a long time ago. If I ain't got to lock an extension, I ain't. We did, um, we did a 5 4 the other day with, uh, ain't that the ones that the water plugs like to break mm -hmm. off? Of? The three valves, yeah. yeah the the three valves wouldn't come out, and the two valves blew out. Yeah. So well, that's we, how we you know the, the difference. We had the three valve, and, uh, man, I was dreading doing that job. And it went fairly well until somebody had tried to do it theirself and cross threaded one of the plugs going back Ooh. in. Yeah. That sucked. Did you have to re-thread it? Well, slowly, yeah. Um, but I, it was kind of what was worrying me is when, first off, it had a rock down in there. I don't know how it had a rock down there, but you couldn't get the stupid socket on it because there was a rock down in there. I see that all the time. And, uh, just blow it out with an air blower before you get started. Well, I don't have an air compressor at the house. So we had to use a vacuum cleaner to suck it out. Yeah. But either way, we got it out. And then the next problem was, I mean... Breaking all the other ones loose, like you got a little bit more comfortable every one you did, mm -hmm. and then you get to this one and you're putting so much force and it's, it's just no break, it's just no break, it's just no break. And you know we we talked to a lot of people and you know they say get the engine good and hot, put some PV blaster or WD-40 something down in there. Take an impact to and, it. And uh, man, it just finally I got it to start breaking loose and it was hard all the way out. And take a look at the plug and it's completely cross threaded. Like, like everybody thinks I'm joking, but you can put an impact on them. I've heard that. I've heard a lot of people and say the only ones they break is with a ratchet. Yeah. And it's like, oh. Like you're going to break the two next to the firewall because yeah. that's the hardest to get to with the impact. Yeah. But if you got the double jointed spark plug socket, yeah, I, get them out. I was lucky. Not, not one broke. And that's I was good. Super thrilled. Sure enough. I felt like I should go play the lottery. <laughs> Bought, bought a pack of scratch offs That's right. I did. There you go. Well, I guess uh, sounds like we got some work out there. I just heard that. I think so. something pulled up. That's going to be a fun one, sounds like. All right, guys. Thank you all. Thank you very much for being the voice of the Matco truck today. For it's like anyway, come, out of the, come out of the background and become the star today. So, all right, guys. Like always, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. And if you're not subscribed, you simply click that button. Just press it. Y'all have a great week. Catch you next time.